Today we did one of my favorite lessons of the year. We were learning the number six. I always try to read a book that goes along with the lesson. So this is the one we're reading today. This is one of my favorites. I just added it to my Amazon storefront. It's called One Fox. And our wow word is famish. So before we read the book, I said, friends, in this book, we're going to learn a new wow word. The word is famished. Can you say that? Famished. I had a friend raise his hand and say, what's famished? I said, oh, I love that. Lincoln didn't know what it meant, so he raised his hand and asked a question. It's so important to ask questions when you don't know. Famished means you are so hungry, your tummy is growling, you can't think about anything else, you are famished. It doesn't mean you're just a little bit hungry. No, you are so hungry, you are famished. Everybody say that, famished. Can you think of a time when you were famished? Or if you're really, really hungry at home, I want you to tell your parents, say, mom, I'm famished. And they will say, wow, that's a big word, famished. All right, let's read, one fox. Now you're going to help me read this book because when I point to a number, you're going to say it, ready? One, one famished fox. Oh, there's the word famished. What does that mean about the fox? Yes, he is so hungry. I had so many friends when they saw this fox, they said, oh, I'm like, what friends? And they said, he's devious. That was one of our well words for the gingerbread man. And in the gingerbread man books, the fox is devious. I said, do you think this fox is going to be devious too? All right, you read it. Two, two sly eyes. Do you know sly is a similar word to devious? So yeah, he does have devious eyes, doesn't he? I'll go through this really quick. Three plump hens, four padding paws, five snug eggs, and it's good to take time and stop and count the items in the, on the pages. Six silent steps. Ooh, those all start with the sound s. Let's count those steps. Seven knocks at the door. Tap, 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 tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight beady eyes, oh. Nine flying feathers. Oh, they got scared, didn't they? 10 sharp teeth. Oh no. <gasps> it's not just three hens. Look how many. How many do you think that is? Do you have any guesses? 100. 100 zero zero is 100. 100 angry hens and one frightened fox. What was that word again, friends? He was so hungry he was famished. Today we're going to throw snowballs. When I said this, the cheers in the classroom and I brought over the snow and I said, oh, my snowball. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. They're like, that's not a real snowball. I have 20 students in my morning class. So what we did was I said, if you're wearing green, come on up and get a snowball. So it was about a third of the class and they stood on the edge of our carpet and we counted to six. Once we got to six, they threw it as far as they could. And then I said, if you're a girl, a girl, if you're a girl, come get a snowball. Another third of the class and they got it and they threw the snowballs and then the rest of the friends came up and threw them. And then we talked about it. Everybody was going to get up without running or pushing and go find a snowball and come back and get in our circle. So we got in a circle around the carpet. Everybody had one snowball and they were going to undo the snowball. So everybody at the same time uncrinkled their snowball and they were going to count how many dots were on their page. One, two, three, four, five. So everybody was counting at the same time. And then I laid out my numbers, one through six. And I called up three or four friends at a time to place it under the correct number. So they would just come up and put it under the number of dots that they had. So they were recognizing numbers and they were one-to-one -one counting. And this was an easy way to assess whether they knew this. I was watching to see if they counted the right amount of dots and if they put it under the right number and all but one did get this. So that means they're really understanding what I'm teaching. And then everybody came up and got one paper and crumpled them back up for me and I'll use this again for the afternoon class. 